Hello guys, welcome back to Altonero. I think we should pray for BC Simon because she is in big ass trouble. She messed up. Two weeks ago, she had an interview with Nick Cannon and she said that she will never go for guys who do 95. She wants the big bosses. She wants the CEOs, the guys with the Lambos. People went mad when she made that comment, but you know, they let it go. They let it slide. But this time around, people are not letting shit slide. People are on her case because she recently came up with a book called Baby Girl Manifest the Life That You Want. This book costs $33 and apparently, there are some of the stuff in the book that was taken straight away from Pink Threads without her acknowledging the small content creators who actually made, you know, these posts, who actually came up with these ideas from Pink Threads. And people are furious and outraged on Twitter. Now I'll be mad as well if someone sold me a book for $33, knowing them well that the book was taken from Pink Threads and she put no effort in it, I, I would go crazy. And people are rightfully doing so. Let me show you some of the comments made by people on Twitter. So I'm sitting here with my good friend and she told me she bought B. Simone's book. As um, I just wanted to see what the book looked like and just look at the quality of this book, y'all. This is a book that she sold to people online. Y'all bought this, not me. Looks like a magazine. <laughs> and just look at the quality of like any, it just look, it looks like copied pages. Don't let the flash fool you into thinking that it looked like something, okay? It's just a little flash. Look at this, what she sold these people. I'm finna write a book for y'all. So the post that brought people's attention to what B. Simone was doing or the B. Simone fiasco was this post by Boss Girls Bloggers. She pointed out that B. Simone was using small content creators on Pinterest, using their content in her book without giving them credit for their piece of work, for the work that they actually created. Up until now, B. Simone hasn't said anything, but eventually I think she will come out to, you know, prove her innocence or say something about what she did, if it's right or wrong. Listen, let's leave it up to her, but let's go back to Twitter and let's find out what people are saying. <laughs> are the comments being made by some of the people on Twitter and there are lots lots more but obviously I cannot put them all in this one video what I think is driving people crazy and what is making people more angry is the fact that B Simone came out just a few weeks ago to say that he doesn't respect or rate 95 and now this has happened to her I think we should take a lesson from B Simone and try to just keep our mouth shut and make our money Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.